I see the next challenge for IFLA as implementing the IFLA strategy to increase diverse voices and participation of people from different regions of the world. We now have the documents, the reports, and see great momentum. Now we must get it into action. This is the challenge. As IFLA president, I will build on the IFLA strategy to increase engagement and voices from regions of the world and promote greater diversity, equity, and inclusion. Empowering leadership from the regions is key to promote greater diversity, equity, and inclusion within IFLA. From teaching faith workshops on the IFLA UNESCO Internet Manifesto starting in 2007, I learned how empowering regional work is where colleagues from a region collaborate together towards goals. Therefore, the new regional councils will be instrumental to increase diversity, equity, and inclusion within IFLA. Each region knows their countries, cultures, languages, and together we can build on that to bring principles of equity, diversity, and inclusion into action. As IFLA president, I will work with the governing board, the regional officers, the preservation centers, and the language centers to create pathways to increase multilingualism and increase representation from all regions of the world in all IFLA's matters. One of the pillars of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Sustainable Development Goals is the pledge to leave no one behind. As a profession, it is a pledge that can be the strategic focus of IFLA's work to achieve diversity, equity and inclusion. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees tells us there are now 80 million displaced people around the world and over 26 million refugees, more than at any time in our history. There are children being born in refugee camps who are destined to a life of poverty and violence. Sadly, no matter which country you live in, there will be social and economic issues that are barriers to equity and inclusion. We know from the UN SDGs that education and access to information are critical factors in breaking the cycle of disadvantage. IFLA can be a powerful voice advocating for services which will help children learn to read, adults to learn and give everyone access to the information, their human basic right. The pledge to leave no one behind needs to be at the centre of IFLA's advocacy work, our strategic planning and our work collectively on a day-to-day -day basis. The SDGs provide a powerful framework for libraries to demonstrate the work that we already do and the work that we can do. IFLA must continue to advocate at the international level, work to identify partners and support your work by providing you with the practical tools. We need a compelling narrative of the work that libraries do to achieve diversity, equity and inclusion. There is so much work to be done to bridge the gap between the haves and have-nots in our communities. Libraries must continue to play a critical role. With IFLA's leadership and support, we can work effectively within our own countries and communities to make a strong contribution to ensure no one is left behind. Inclusion and diversity have centrally become buzzwords, uh, but uh, they are more th than just uh, a passing fad. They are vital elements of success. We need a different mindset. Just to say that we need more inclusion and diversity is not enough, not even close. As president, I will start an active program that uh, will make sure that colleagues from all countries will get involved. I will launch a survey in my first year and deliver the results. I want to see more diversity in the leadership positions. And I would like to hear in IFLA conversations as many accents as possible, a real multilingualism. Next IFLA website and IFLA Academy will help in this task. The regional council uh, with the, three, the six um, um, uh, regional divisions is an innovation. Its success will be a success for IFLA to become a real global association. Labyrinth field understanding means to have a global voice, showing we are united in our values and mission. Accepting the similarities and valuing each member, only then members 
feel included and valued. And this is a guarantee to grow faster and foster creativity and better productivity. Stronger aids to people from developing countries, synergies um, with and activation of non-active national associations, member partner services, more effective uh, dialogue are only just one a few of my plans. In the world, there are almost 190 national libraries, 230, 2,000 public libraries, thousands of, uh, of um, academic libraries and school uh, libraries. And if learning to reach them, all the voices must be heard.